we're going to be doing upper reconstruction here. I'm going to put some cheek retractors in so you can see our occlusion. Here it is, bite down for me. This is the occlusion. As you can see, there's a number of crowding issues, especially in the premaxillary area, which we're going to be redistributing the spaces for the new smile design. We also have a crossbite issue right here on the right side. Uh, as part of the treatment, I will be actually preparing this tooth and bringing it in. Later, um, we will actually be restoring the uh, lower arch. So uh, we're not going to worry about that too much right now. We will create an ideal upper arch form, and later when the lower is restored, we will actually have an ideal upper arch to make the lower two to perfect the occlusion. Um, you can see if you look in the posterior segments, we have some porcelain fused to metal crowns in the molars that we will be replacing. Um, and uh, this is the case. The gum tissue has already been altered by our periodontist. Uh, the periodontist is one of your key specialists you want to um, utilize when you're doing these types of cases. And uh, she's added some grafting to some recessed areas and uh, we're going to go from there. So the first thing we're going to do, if you open slightly for me, uh, the first thing in creating this case is we want to create an ideal upper arch form. To do that before we even prep is we're going to recontour the arch form to ideal contour. Then we're going to place depth cuts to remove the proper amount of tooth structure for the porcelain. And then we will just finish up the preparations. Uh, these will all be bonded porcelain restorations. Um, and it will create a beautiful look. So the first thing we're going to do is create an ideal upper arch form. That means recontouring this arch form buckily and lingually. We're going to be bringing some teeth out, bringing some teeth in, making this V formation here very flat like we want it in the final product. Everything was discussed with Dennis. I have some background in orthodontics, so of course orthodontics is one of the first things I would talk to him about. Um, if you look at orthodontics as a treatment modality, he would go through ortho, and all his teeth would be straight, but they'd still be yellow, discolored. Uh, some of the wear patterns would still be in the teeth. Dentists would still need to be restored afterwards. Would he need to be restored with as many porcelain restorations? I don't know. It really depends on aesthetically what he's looking for. But he certainly would need quite a few. Um, a lot of adults will choose to not go through orthodontics and just get restored, which is a very valid option. But the, there is another valid option of getting orthodontics and then being restored or bleached or something like that. But his teeth were a little too discolored for bleaching uh, be, because of the result he wanted. If he didn't really care about the color too much or maybe he just wanted a little shade lighter, bleaching would have done the trick for him. Um, but he wanted, you know, he wanted a significant change. And in all cases, what you really want to do, whether they're this crowded or less crowded or more crowded, what you want to do is create the ideal upper arch form first. By doing that, you're going to make every case very straightforward. If you just look at this case and try and figure out how to attack it and how to really uh, prepare the case, it, it gets kind of confusing. So I'm going to create a very ideal situation and then I'm going to think about preparing it. So I'm going to start prepping this then. And we're going to just be flattening this area. We are creating the buckle contour of the final restorations at this point. This will be our buckle contour for the final restoration. Or at least the parameter for it. Okay, so what we can see with just a little mirror reflection, we can see that we've created more of a, a flat profile here. Let's see if we can really see it. Now the little more tricky part of this case is the lingual contour. And again, this is just recontouring the arch form. Tooth number seven is the one that really has to be brought out the most. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this forward. And by, do, by bringing it forward, we're going to have to reduce the lingual incisal edge to bring it forward. And we're also going to have to do a little bit of tooth number 10 